viewers yet. <laughs> Finishing Hardscape. Find us on YouTube. Christian Hardscape. Good morning. Day three at this job. 70 degrees today, Benny. What do you think? We'll see. We'll see. He's got his pants on. I wore shorts today. I sent the shorts today. It's going to be warm. This hoodie's coming off. I'm going to enjoy the sunlight today. I'm telling you, Benny, I'm going to get that calendar, bro. I'm going to make a calendar, 11 pages of just you. <laughs> and on the 12th page, on, on December, it's going to be a picture of me holding a picture of you. Nice, dude. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, so for you guys that didn't know, Ben quit his modeling career to come work with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he gave it all up to come put in some... Oh, yeah some walkways and patios for Henderson Hardscapes. Thank you, bud. Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> Man, we gotta have some fun. So this is our chip rock. That's what we're gonna use for our bedding sand or bedding stone, whatever you wanna call it, that we'll lay the pavers on top of. So this is the chip rock, three eighths, well it's up to three eighths, there's a lot of quarter inch pieces in there, but quarter inch and three eighth inch crushed stone, clean, there's no dust or fine particles in it, and uh, where we are it's called chip stone, chip rock. We are going to be on to building more of this wall, we left it off yesterday with three tiers built around to this corner. The truck makes you look even better, you know? <laughs> Alright guys, we're having a little bit of a, uh, not a big issue, but the corner over here on the wall, we're starting to find that the corners are a little bit lower than the other wall block, so we kind of looked into it a little bit more, and I just wanted to show you. So this pallet right here is all corners, coat of wall corners. And these three pallets over here are coda wall wall block these are all like the assorted sizes on the pallets and this is just a corner pallet now all of these are corners except this one this one is a size from the regular wall block pallets like a medium size but we're finding out that the wall block itself so you can see the level it's flat on this one. This is the regular wall block. And then when you get to the corner piece, there's a good eighth of an inch to a quarter, depending on the natural cleftness of the top. So if we bring this down to the two corner pieces, it sits nice and flat. And you can see it's hitting. Level up there, nice and flat, and then down to the corner. So that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. I've seen uh, slight differences in corner pieces than wall block in a lot of different systems, but that's a big difference. And it's kind of sour because it makes us have to do like a uh, kind of a shim solution like this to keep the the corners up a little bit higher on every row so that it doesn't um, 
end up being really lower than the other wall block. So that, that's actual, this is actual concrete block shims that they sell because it is an issue in the industry that blocks can vary up to an eighth of an inch and when building a wall perfect that can really mess with you so that was a solution to the industry that a lot of people use but like I said the difference on these corners and regular wall block is pretty massive what do you think Ben? I think so. that's Almost big a quarter inch. that's big so on these corners that's what you're gonna see us doing we're using a piece of geogrid rolled up a few times to give us some height and a few of these shims broken off just to give the corner a little bit more height as we build it up and that should uh, resolve our, our issue. But I just wanted to go over that with you and anyone out there that makes these block at Nico Lock, make sure you check into that. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to... Uh, we're going to get to building this row here. That side's high too. We gotta pull some out. Oh. That's how you get a hemoglobin. better but I don't know if it's perfect. This side's high still so that's the one bud. This is the one. Now we can drop another one on it. Wow. Too much forward, dummy. Yeah. Still got glue in that? Yep. Might as well just send it then. Use this medium piece here. Not that one, but this one.
reach ahead, bud. First lift with the new clamp, Benny. That looked like a good spot it's gonna grab. Go a little bit more your way. How's that? We gotta move this one over one. Center of gravity moved over a little bit. We'll do a test lift, see what happens. She's in, that's the biggest one. All the other ones are smaller. Dude, you know what I was just looking at too, man? To change the center of gravity on that thing? Yeah. We can move that top piece too, over more towards the center, Benny. Like if we pull this one out. Oh, uh, yeah, they got a pin over there too. Man, this one's freaking. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think you can take it out. Let's see why not. Oh, yeah, that was. There we go. A little bit more. Actually, back one more, actually. Well, now what is that, three holes to the end of that thing right there? Four. Like three, three holes? Oh yeah, it's like- That's, that's where two. mine's at, so we'll put it right there, see what happens. It's gotta go a little bit more, right there. That might help. Oh. Right? Now this might have to just kind of be moved again, but now it's more centered off. But at least now when you put it on something, it'll maybe rest a little bit more balanced. Mm -hmm. First step is in, guys. First step is in. I don't even know why I'm putting a level on this thing, dude. This is the difference with these right here. So, can really only get so uh, so finicky with those. They are just the way they are. They're meant to look like natural granite or natural stone, and they uh, install just like natural stone, not perfect in every uh, aspect. So, we got that one step in. We wanted to do that, so now our next step is going to be to connect our downspout drainage around the back of the step, down, and into our drywall. So that's what we're going to do next. Stay tuned.
Okay, we got our drainage in. We got our first step in. We got four tier of wall built. So this drain comes down and spits out just in front of the drywall. And then this whole area will be able to catch any water that's underneath the entire walkway from up here or down here. It all pitches into our drywall. So that's a big advantage of putting a drywall into a system like this. Have somewhere out for all the water to divert to away from the things that you're building, the walls, the steps, the pavers. All the water will come down and be diverted to the right away from all your materials. So we're going to uh, get a few more layers of wall built so that we can set another step or two. And go from there. Ta -da! Step in. We got a backfill behind these steps, behind the wall, all the way up to the level of our step. And then we continue the, the wall, another row, and just kind of work up with each other. Build the wall and the, the step together. At that point, we'll, we'll slowly get up to where we need to be, to where we think is going to be the best spot for uh the first landing It'll probably be about a six to eight foot landing and then another couple steps to rise it and so on and so forth there'll be a few different landings in this walkway but it's coming up good i really like the, the style and the color tone so we're gonna uh get to backfilling
right, <clears throat> coming together guys. The three steps in. And what I did with these two blocks here is we'll lay the steps on them. And uh, as you can see, this is the grade that we want to stay with. So to keep that grade, we have to make pretty much risers with the wall block for the steps to sit on. So that's the plan. Ben went to get some more three quarter stone. So when he comes back, we'll both be able to drop another step in. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up for the day. Get some steps in, some wall built. We're ready to continue tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.